All right, <clears throat> once you have your um, outpost set up and you're skilled up because you have um, you can you can basically mouse click in the safety of your compound um, hidden by trees out of the way very hard for PKers to uh, come and kill you you can now start making tools for peasants and look at these beautiful peasant tools wouldn't a peasant love to have one of these and uh, 97 quality bone saws so you can make a bunch of those I ran out of branches so that's all I need I just want to make a bunch of tools so I put these back into the um, cupboard, right? Um, and that's one night of, or just going to bed and sawing. Now what I'm gonna do is, I've got these two kilns ready to go. There's a kiln there. There's a kiln there, right? They're both ready to go. I'm gonna put them up there. This is gonna create a wall that uh, if someone's coming up to try to kill me, and I'm gonna get up on my stack here, I might, and I am going to uh, open up my tune. This saw is pretty much dead, right? Look, nine health. All right, take that off. Right, uh, what quality is that? 95. I'm going to take my shovel off. And then I'm going to equip two brand new Trayway saws. These are saws that you're, you know, no point making a, a metal saw. These are throat saws that you get, you know, that are just toss away for cutting lumber or whatever. I don't believe I can equip a saw in the lower slot just to make sure. Um, one of the cool things, nope, you can only do upper slot. So you can't do that. Uh, and then the other thing is I, I should remember to put these away. Um, I think that is that, that's that, that's that. Actually, I like that barrel up there. Actually, that's for charcoal. Hmm. Not sure what's in this barrel here. This may be an empty barrel. Well, that's for wood. That's for the kiln. All right. So it's going to be this. This is kind of the, the um, tools and other things. So I'm going to fill this up with saws. All right. I'm even going to put my dead one in there just to make someone happy. All right, so that has plenty of saws. One of the most annoying things. Now, what I'm going to do is actually saw. Let me go into the first person view. I'm going to saw this log, this log, this log, maybe even this log. One, two, three, four logs. So by placing my mouse like this here, right, right clicking, I want to saw billets. Okay. All right, I got the billet sawed up. I'm making sure that. I'm going to click there. I'm going to close this. I'm going to go open up my simple free mouse clicker. That's all you need for this game. You don't need macro programs. Really simple. I'm going to hit start. I'm going to close this. I'm going to take my key away, put in myself third person, and I'm going to saw all the way through those laws. And I'm going to go take a nap. When you come back, what I'm going to do is show you how I'm going to cook up all of these billets into amazing charcoal for the blacksmith. So this would be something what we I would call an apprentice would be doing. Um, this is apprentice work or even journeyman one work. Um, you would be working for a blacksmith and doing this and uh, getting everything ready. He's logging on later. So I want everything ready for the blacksmith so he can start making some cool stuff. Or even if I'm a journeyman or an apprentice, the journeyman's gonna be coming on and he's gonna be turning all of his ore. It's all stacked up here, okay? and the apprentice uh, miner actually stacked this up here, so he's got no work to do. Um, you know, so he's waiting for all these people to do their, their work. So he's going to complain to his guy, like, hey, I can't stack any more ore, actually a little bit. It can go to 30, 35.5. Um, and, um, you know, so that's kind of how everything works together. And it's pretty obvious. Once you, you know, once you see how it all fits together, and you have a little hub like this, then uh, it's not spaced out. You can do everything in one location. It's super cool. This is how I like to play Life is Feudal, because if you do, then it becomes Life is Feudal fun. Thanks for watching. My name is Sun Tzu. I run Freeport. I don't run it. I'm part of the, the, uh, the council. I'm the founder of Freeport.
Um, and uh, we are an MMO server and also on Euro server. So you can go to our Steam uh, page. You can join us uh, here on the uh, your uh, Yo server, or you can join us in the MMO, or you can be another guild and actually be you know launch a charter for Fruitport in your guild with your the permission of your leader. So we are here to help new players. We're here to help guilds find new players. We're here to train. We're here to basically do the work that other people don't want to do. Um, and we're here for those that want to, don't want to be part of a guild. I'm 50 years old. I've done 20 years of PvP and all this stuff, and I'm pretty much, you know, over that stuff, and I want to do something new, and this is new, and that's why I like this game. Thanks for watching. Take care.